there and start warming up. Okay. And you must be Sheldon. Your grandmother told me all about you. We're going to Radio Shack. Yeah, she didn't lie. George, I figured we kind of got off on the wrong foot. Hey Clark, today's the day. It's in the back. I'll go get it. What's he getting? A Direct Connect 300 baud modem. How much? Don't worry, I'm using my allowance. Plus, Clark gave me a healthy discount for helping with his application to medical school. Good day. Not just them. Guess who I'm grabbing a beer with? Your new friend, Dale. Are you kidding me? You were right. She's not happy. We're going to do a little combination here. Here we go. Sadly, that was not the stupidest thing he ever said. Have you tried the meatballs here? They are fantastic. I haven't. But speaking of meatballs... I posted on the physics bulletin board. He called my work flawed. That's rude. Let him know he can't push you around. That's why I did a baseball practice. I'd rather not resort to name-calling. It usually gets me stuffed somewhere uncomfortable. That's in... Night. Hanging with my new buddy, Dale. Well, I hope you two have fun together. Oh, we will. So much to talk about. You better respect her privacy. Oh, I don't plan on doing that at all. Don't you need to go to work? Yes. Careful. In war games, Matthew Broderick almost blew up the wall. The only thing I'm going to be blowing up is this fellow's flimsy argument. That was one of my classic jokes. Feel free to laugh. Who's picking on you? It doesn't matter. Just tell me. I usually start by telling myself how much smarter I am than the person who's picking on me. But that won't work for you. Out! Missy? We're, we're friends, right? Yeah. We're just friends? What do you mean? Well, I've asked you out a bunch, and you've made it pretty clear you weren't interested. But before I asked out another... married for 18 years and I gotta tell you it's the two best years of my life. <laughs> no, can you imagine? Oh, you really scared me there for a second. Yeah. <laughs> so you're dating my mother-in-law. Oh no, no. Did she send you here on a fact-finding mission? No. So if anything she's worried I'm playing baseball. Hey Brenda. What were you thinking? Excuse me? My Billy's on that team. Baseball's for boys. Says who? Says everyone. It's not ladylike. Save some pony for your... Someone's got a mouth on. I have noticed that. <laughs> you know, I just realized something. I got more in common with my mother-in-law than I do my own wife. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I may have boobs, but I'm still a man. <laughs> I'm going to destroy him with this. And when you do, feel free to call him a scarabaeus vietii, a dung beetle. Oh, I so admire your mind. Back at you, little man. Good. If he dumps me, he deserves to suffer. Hey, Dale. Hey, George. So, uh... I was so riled up, I almost started producing testosterone. Here she comes. This is it. Go get him. Let's go, Missy! Oh. Oh. What the Son hell? Of a bitch. Hey, 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 hold it. We talked about this. Has some validity. My point has some validity. Yes. That day, both my sister and I emerged victorious from savage battles. Hers.